7.3 similar polygons. Don't forget the date, don't forget your name, mine is Tara. Similar poly what? Polygons. Well, what the heck is a polygon? A polygon is a many sided uh, object where all sides are created with straight lines. Now we have specific names for, for special polygons. For example, we have a triangle, three sides. We have a quadrilateral, which is four sides. Uh, we have a pentagon, which is five sides etc 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 so if you want to watch a video about it <laughs> there's actually a song called the nonagon that is nine sides um, uh, go to the link that pops up right now um, it's a really cute uh, really cute video uh, really great and vibrant colors uh, watch it if you want um, so but there are in inside of these specific things like a quadrilateral has four sides. Well, when I think of something with four sides, I think a square, or I think of something like um, uh, like a rectangle. Those are very specific cases of quadrilaterals. Now, this right here that we're going to be focusing on, this has one, two, three, four, five sides, which means it's a pentagon. But when I think of a pentagon, this is the shape that I think of. And there are, there's a specific kind of thing called regular polygons. Regular polygons are where all sides uh, are equal and all uh, internal angles are equal. So you can see that this is not a regular uh, pentagon because there's 1.5, there's 2, there's 3 centimeters. And inside, yeah, we have two 90s, but we also have a 110, uh, 96, and a 154, so they're not all equal. So when one polygon is an enlargement or reduction of another polygon, we say that polygons are similar. And in the next lesson, we're actually going to get even more specific. We're not going to talk about similar polygons, but we're going to be talking about specifically similar triangles. So here are two similar polygons. Uh, matching angles are called corresponding angles. And matching sides are called corresponding sides. So QP is a corresponding side to Q prime. That's what this little thing is called. The little mark is prime. So we would say Q, Q, <laughs> Q prime. We would pronounce it Q prime. So Q P is a corresponding side to Q prime P prime, and angle R is a corresponding angle to R prime. So what we need to do is we need to find the uh, scale factor. So let's just create a little bit of a chart here. And just one more down here. One. We're going to divide it up like this. So this is corresponding sides. So that is going to be broken up into three.
and corresponding angles. Which is going to be broken up into two. Now in order for these, uh, for these two uh, pentagons to be similar, means that the scale factors have to all be the same. So the corresponding side, sides all have to have the same scale factor. So if I were to say um, the length of PQ, I'm going to say that equals 2 centimeters. And the length of uh, P prime Q prime equals 3 centimeters. So if we want to zoom in here and find exactly what the scale factor is, I'm going to say P prime Q prime over PQ is P prime Q prime is 3 and PQ is 2. If I go 3 divided by 2, that's going to be 1.5. So if I continue on in this chart and I put the, the primes on top of the original, they're just the PQs, I should be able to get 1.5 every single time. So if I'm looking at the corresponding angles, cor uh, angle P is 90 degrees, and angle P prime is also 90 degrees. Let's just do the corresponding angles because it's actually it's the easiest one to fill in because there's less calculating. So just going up this way, angle Q is 154 degrees. Angle Q prime is also 154 degrees. Angle R is 96 degrees. Angle R prime is also 96 degrees. Angle S is 110. Angle S prime is also uh, 110. And finally, angle T is 90 degrees. And angle T prime is 90 degrees. So I'm going to do one more of the corresponding sides with you, and then I want you to fill in the remaining three rows. So if I would say QR, QR is 1.5 centimeters. Q prime, uh, R prime is 2.25 centimeters. Now if we were to find the scale factor of this, I'm going to say Q prime r prime divided by the length of qr. That's 2.25 over 1.5. And when I divide 2.25 divided by 1.5, I get 1.5. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to do this for rs and r prime s prime. r prime s prime over rs. And I want you to do this for uh, S T and S prime T prime and S prime T prime over S T. And then finally T P equals and uh, sorry T prime P prime equals and then T prime oh I want to put P first. T prime P prime over T. Now when you finish all the work, we're noticing that all the scale factors are the same. If you divide the, the primes by the, the original, the ST, you all, or like the RS, or just the regular ones, you all get a scale factor of 1.5. And there are corresponding angles that are the same as well. So since the scale factor is the same for every single side, and each angle has a, uh, all the angles are uh, pairs of corresponding angles, we can call this a similar polygon. So we identify corresponding angles and their pair of corresponding sides using ratios. So we can either think of 
this as a reduction of this shape. Or we can consider this as an enlargement of this shape. At any rate, we say that triangle A, uh, sorry, a pentagon um, P, Q, R, S, T is similar to pentagon P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime, T prime. And the whole point of math is to make our language very elegant and compact. So the way that we would write it is pentagon P, Q, R, S, T is similar to, so if I would take out my highlighter, I would say is similar to is the same thing as this symbol. Pentagon P prime. Q prime, R prime, S prime, 